So there's a new trend around and it's called the anti-jeans trend. Now to you and me, this is just common sense because when you look into the anti-jeans trend, it's actually wear anything other than jeans in the summer. And so that is linen trousers. They talk about pleated trousers. I'm not going there. I'm not that keen on the idea of pleated trousers. They talk about silk trousers which I don't have any to show and I don't, that doesn't quite seem right to me either. I don't think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of a pair of silk trousers. So I'm concentrating on linen. My first option for the anti-jeans trend, sensibly using linen in the summer, using some white linen trousers. Now I've got a couple of pairs of white linen trousers that I bought years ago and one pair I bought from overseas when I was on holiday, one pair in London when I was in my 20s, they are still going great, going strong. My linen top I'm showing here, I also bought on holiday and I like this because it's slightly short at the front, it's got that curved shape and it's, um, it, so it's not a, a long linen top but it's loose and I like, love the shape of it. I loved it so much in the shop I bought too, so I bought one another colour, which I'll be showing later on. So. There are options similar to this that I can list down below that will give you that shorter length type blouse to go with your linen trousers. And just pair those with, and I unashamedly will pair mine with Birkenstocks. And if this is a beach look and you're going to the beach, what about those Arizona plasticky ones um, that are kind of water, that are waterproof so you're not ruining leather or cork? And I bought these ones last year. I love them, they are so comfortable walking along a beach. So uh, that's a good purchase. And actually, I think, personally, I think, I think they look great. They really do suit the look of a linen, loose linen look. So throughout this, you're gonna see Birkenstocks. Then, as I said, I've also got this top in a beige. So here's a tip for you ladies. If you see one top you really like, get it in several colors. So yeah, I've got this in beige. I've also got some linen trousers that I bought from Next years ago. Um, would have been in my 30s, I believe, and they have lasted years and years and years and years and years and years and years. Lin linen just, you know, it's a really good investment piece. So you've probably got an accumulation of linen in your wardrobe, but again, like mine, hasn't deteriorated. If not, then now's a good time to purchase because I'll be showing linen options down, down below. But here, yeah, the same sort of shape, boxy type blouse with the linen trousers in, in a beige outfit. I'm using some leather Birkenstocks this time, some Arizonas, and uh, you can always just add sunglasses and a hat and you've got a really chic look to go to somebody's house. Maybe they've got a coastal property, maybe you got a coastal property, maybe you're going to Florida for the summer. You know, that type of coastal, coastal grandmother vibe. And the hat I'm showing here is my coolie bar. That is UVA, UVB, uh, has UVA, UVB protection, which I can list down a very, very similar from them down below for you for many, many countries. And my, my sunglasses, I think, are the Ray-Bans. Um, ooh, what ones? I'll list them down below because I've forgotten the name of the particular ones. Now let's go back to white trousers and now I'm using my linen shirt. And I've got two linen shirts that I used throughout the summer. I can list this one for you. I got it from Amazon. It's about three years old, so it has lasted perfectly and I get so much use out of it. So this is wearing a shirt or that shirt just as a shirt, as a blouse with the linen trousers. Yes, it's loose with loose. And that's what we're going for here with this sort of anti-jean trend, the summer cool coastal summer vibe. And it is okay, people are wearing loose with loose now. That is a silhouette that's acceptable. So, especially if you're slightly taller than me, this would look fantastic on you. But even at my height, I don't think it looks terribly bad and it's keeping me cool as well. And a linen shirt is covering up the back of your neck. It's covering you up here, isn't it, around the neck. And you've got the options to be able to cover your sleeves as well and your shoulders. So it has a practical purpose as well. Other alternatives, you swap out your linen trousers for linen shorts. So using a linen blouse you've seen earlier on, white linen shorts, I've got the white on white look again. You can see my legs, you can see my Birkenstocks. It's cool, it's comfortable, and the air is just getting around my, my legs. And I can do the same thing in my beigey colour as well, because I have beige shorts too in linen. And one of my favourite looks that I have never tried before, but I picked up in doing research for this anti-jeans trend, is a maxi dress along those same colour themes. So I've got this beige maxi dress, 
I'm putting a linen shirt over the top. Now the purpose of the linen shirt over the top is so that your shoulders and your arms aren't getting burnt when you're wearing a shoulderless maxi dress. And it's giving, still giving that cool, coastal, easy breezy look. Now with me and my height and also this being a long maxi dress and I felt my shirt was long as well, I wanted to divide the proportions a bit so I actually added a belt and I think it looks, for me, it looks good both ways but my preference is with the belt. My Birkenstocks of course and sunglasses. I could add a hat if I wanted to as well, that would be a really cool look too. These are all kind of mix and match if you get the idea. You know, once you've got your linen wardrobe, mix and match it all because you can actually pair your camel with your whites and so on as well. It doesn't have to be monochrome. Oh, talking of which, we can now add some color as well. So how about most loved shorts this year are the ones that I bought recently from Marks and Spencers in the um, dyed washed in this tealy color and then add a linen blouse over the top of that. Now what I'm doing here is actually a replicating a look that I saw on, on um, a shop website and I thought I can do that, you know I've got those items I can do that in those same colours as well. So here I am replicating it. Not quite right because I'm doing a half tuck whereas they just got kind of a scruffy tuck in, in a way on their, in their image and I added a tan belt because I quite like that look and I wore this to the beach actually and um, yeah, felt, I felt, you know, totally in place early in the morning, walking the dogs before it got too hot along the beach. And it was cool. And I felt decent if I bumped into anybody. And I, I love the look. So I know you, a few of you have been buying these shorts up. If you haven't, do so, because they're still available. And I can put global links down below for you. If you've got a linen shirt, pair it with a linen shirt. If not, get one, because I'll link them down below. It's not a look that's going to date. Now in the magazine that I read where I picked this information up, parachute trousers were mentioned and I hadn't come across that term but they're kind of elasticated around the ankle and, and loose and baggy. So I'm showing here my cargo pan jogger type trousers which is similar to a parachute trouser. Mine are from Estia and in black and pairing it with a linen blouse which is a nice colourful look as well that fits the anti-jeans trend. I then went on and ordered some from Marks and Spencers to give them a, a try, what are called parachute trousers and, and shown or sold as parachute trousers. Now here's a warning that I bought a size eight short. They don't do extra short in these trousers and they are long and they are big around. I could have done with going down a size and I think they do do a six actually, UK six. Well, I wasn't gonna order a six. I mean, that just seems so wrong. Um, but I think a six would have worked. I think maybe the sizing on these trousers is such that actually everything's marked one size smaller and the six would have been suited me better. What I'll say about length is if you're five foot two or below, the short are too long. If you're five foot six, possibly the short's going to fit you. Five, six, five, 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 four. You might want to buy these in the short because they actually would look pretty good on you, I imagine. If you're over that size then you would normally go for a, a uh, uh, a long, perhaps go for a regular. So in, in other words, go down a length, go down a size in these. For we at five foot two, I think that we aren't gonna get the length and they're not really adjustable at the bottom. They're just gonna look baggy and make our legs look wide. So for us, I think I'm giving them a miss. And of course, another option is your cotton. So today I am wearing a um, cotton t-shirt. This is from Estia in some cotton joggers and uh, that again would be your summer anti-jean trend outfit.